Last week, a group of bronies raided another brony group under the guise of other analysts and spammed the group with venom and porn. All is some type of final retribution for trespasses from over a year ago. About a month ago, someone smashed the mirrors on my car after an argument about his work schedule. Over a year ago, a man shot three bullets into a crowd that I was in because he was slapped by another man for stepping on his shoes. Last week, fellow bronies were subjected to abuse from events that they knew nothing about. About a month ago, I lost my car's mirrors to an argument that had nothing to do with me. A year ago, a bullet missed its target, narrowly missed me, and hit another bystander in the leg. Unfortunately, I could tell stories like this all day. And in every single one, ignorance combined with vindictiveness makes mountains of molehills. Nothing is ever accomplished, and the collateral damage is often greater than what's inflicted on the warring parties. In the Hooffields and McColts, we see two families who cost themselves and each other both food and shelter, with neither even knowing the cause of their pointless feud, and their pride continues to destroy those around them as well. I'm sure we've all been on either side of this at least once. Through ignorance, we initiate needless conflicts. Through misunderstood priorities, we turn to retaliation. Through misplaced pride, we react harshly and the cycle continues. Remember that people often cause their own suffering. Hatred is a painful emotion that clouds one's judgment as they retaliate, often bringing consequences that harm both ourselves as well as our loved ones. So I ask you, is the taste of vengeance worth the cost? For each one of the McColts or Hooffield strikes against each other, they would waste a resource of their own as well as valuable time that could have been spent bettering their own food and shelter. By seeing their neighbors as the enemy, they could never combine their talents to improve everyone's life. The families of the Smoky Mountains almost completely destroyed the most beautiful valley in Equestria and were no closer to defeating each other than when their ancestors started the feud. Innocent bystanders suffered for it. So I ask again, is vengeance worth the cost? People everywhere are susceptible to this type of vindication. Prejudices of all groups perpetuate retaliatory prejudices. We pass biased judgments against people who don't deserve them. Consequences drive bitter and prideful people deeper into the hypocritical belief that they are the victim and that is why they must attack their quote-unquote enemies. I've even seen it blind people to a point where they can't recognize when efforts towards peace are being made. Similar to Ma Hooffield confusing Twilight sincerity and apologizing, this us-versus-them mentality makes people fail to see where everyone involved stands as an individual. Thus, it hurts everyone, including ourselves. And this can be applied to every scale, from individuals to entire nations. The only way to break this cycle is for us to embrace peace. Put aside pride, prejudice, and vengeance. Ask yourself how you contributed to the conflict. Communicate and find understanding. Treat everyone as a self-responsible individual. If you must fight, then fight for the right reasons. Fight to defend, to stop someone from harming you or your loved ones as they are doing so, not in retaliation. Defend by disarming the attacker, not destroying them. Disarm with intent to teach the power of love. Keep a level head at all times and forgive as often as possible. People aren't built for vengeance, so attempting it will trap anyone in a cycle of misery that destroys themselves, each other, and the world around them. So to answer the question from earlier, vengeance is not worth the cost. When Twilight and Fluttershy made the feuding families stop fighting and understand why they were fighting, it gave both of the families perspective on the vanity of their conflict as well as the consequences that it was having beyond just themselves. It was then that everyone was able to finally realize their own faults and work towards a solution. If we follow the same steps that Fluttershy and Twilight took, we can be rid of the useless conflicts in our own lives, as well as help others reduce the pain and conflict in theirs. And that's the moral of the story.
If you have anything you would like to hear discussed or reviewed, you can drop suggestions by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. Be sure to check out Irish John's channel for some funny short films, as well as Okizuma's channel for a variety of great videos, and thank them for their support. Feel free to check out my Patreon to see how you can support my channel and what you'll get in return. Big thanks to all of those supporting me already. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.